I'm going to show you how I make fish tacos. These are golden fried to perfection. This is going to be good. Before I start prepping the fish for the fish tacos, I am going to make curtido. This is basically a pickled cabbage slaw, if you will. And I'm going to thinly slice my cabbage and place it into a glass bowl. I'm only going to thinly slice half of this cabbage. You could do the entire head of cabbage, but that's all I need for today. I'm also going to thinly slice red onion and place that into the bowl. Here I'm cutting two medium limes and I'm going to squeeze the juice of the fresh limes into the bowl with the cabbage and the onion. If you are new here, welcome to my channel, Simply Mama Cooks. I'm Angelica. And if you have been following me, I'd like to ask that you check your bell notification to make sure you can get all of my latest videos. Thank you. I'm also going to add a tablespoon of vinegar and some crushed dried Mexican oregano. I'm also going to add mm, a half teaspoon to a full teaspoon of salt. It's kind of up to you, to your taste. And some cracked black pepper. I'm going to give that a really good mix and set this aside in the refrigerator to hang out, to marinate, to pickle until I'm ready to serve. Here I'm going to make the sour cream topping in a bowl. I'm going to start with around a quarter cup to a third cup of mayonnaise. I'm eyeballing things. I'm going to add a cup of sour cream and I'm going to add the Cholula Chipotle hot sauce. You can add chipotle peppers into the mix. I love using this hot sauce and I'm just going to add until my heart is content. And I suggest you do the same or just taste it. And this is going to go into the refrigerator to hang out until I'm ready to use it. So I'm going to work on prepping the fish. Here I have two pounds of fish. You can do tilapia fish, flounder, whatever fish you like to use. And what I'm going to do is just cut these fillets into pieces that'll fit into a taco, kind of like elongated chunky pieces. Once they are all cut into pieces, I'm going to place back into the bowl. And now I'm going to dredge the fish. Here on a baking sheet, I'm going to add around a cup of all-purpose flour, a teaspoon of salt, and some cracked black pepper. I'm eyeballing things today. And now I'm just going to mix that and combine well. And once I've combined this, now it's time to just dredge each piece of fish. And it's just a light coating, and I'm just going to leave them on the baking sheet as I dredge them. My fish is dredged, so now I'm going to work on the wet batter. In a bowl, I am going to add one and a third cups of all-purpose flour. Here I'm going to add a teaspoon of baking powder. Now I'm going to season with onion powder, paprika. I'm also going to add some garlic powder into the mix. Here I'm adding cracked black pepper. I'm going to add some salt. And I'm going to mix all of those dry ingredients together. So I'm making a beer batter for the fish today. You can opt to use mineral water or sparkling water. That also works. And to this bowl, I'm going to add the entire 12 fluid ounces of beer. Give it a really good mix. Really what you're looking for is kind of like that pancake consistency. And instead of adding extra beer, all I did was added cold water into the beer bottle. That's what's in here. And I'm just going to add a little more liquid until I get the right consistency, just like this. By the way, I'm also going to add mustard. I like to add like a tablespoon of mustard. I've been doing that lately. And the mustard's going to definitely add a little bit of a zing to it. It's not really a strong flavor. It's just enough to give it a slight zing and that golden color that you typically get with those original Ensanada fish tacos. So this is done and ready to be used. I preheated my cooking oil to around 350 to 360 degrees Fahrenheit, somewhere in between there. I'm dunking the fish and it's going right into the fry oil. So 
So while the fish is cooking, you'll notice these little pieces that float to the top. I'm just going to remove these so they don't burn while the fish cooks. And I'm going to let the fish cook for several minutes. And then I'm going to remove it from the fry oil and just kind of let it hang out here. And let the fry oil come back up to temperature. It's going to take a little bit. And once it comes back up to temperature, I'm putting it right back in. And I'm going to let these double fry. This is going to give me that extra crunch. And it really does keep a great texture when you add all the toppings. This is why I like to double fry. So once they are cooked through and done, you see how golden the color is. It's so beautiful. And I'm just going to put it onto my baking sheet with this rack to let any residual oil run off. And just repeat the process for the rest of the fish. Another convenient method to double frying, you can do the first fry for all of the fish and put it onto the baking sheet with the rack. Bring the temperature back up to the fry oil and then do the double fry again and just fry all of the fish over again in batches. So I have to try this. It's so hot and so crispy. Ah, it's so good, but it's hot. Okay, my fish is done, and you can hear that exterior is just crispy, crunchy fish. So I like to warm up my corn tortillas right on the flame. You don't have to do that. Use a griddle or make them from scratch. I do that sometimes. But I love the charring by reheating my corn tortillas on that open flame. So good. So to build this taco, it's the tortilla, the fish, and this curtido, the, the cabbage slaw that we made, the pickled cabbage slaw. And I'm just going to pile it right on top of my golden fried fish. I'm going to add some of my crema. This is that mayo, sour cream, chipotle pepper sauce mix. Oh, it's so good. This is just my favorite. And it's so simple. And I'm going to add a little bit of Louisiana hot sauce, or you can add that chipotle hot sauce. And this is the taco. This is just perfect. I love fish tacos just like this. So good. And I'm going in for a bite. And I want you to hear the crunch. This is a perfect bite. I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it. And thanks for watching.